Welcome to Keyscan Aurora Access Control Management Software. In this tutorial, we'll demonstrate the new Active Directory feature. This Active Directory tutorial is a general sample and may or may not reflect the data currently housed in your Keyscan software. It is only a guide to show you the Active Directory function. Your screen or screens may or may not be exactly as displayed on this example. Active Directory expedites system user permissions and day-to-day -day activities with Keyscan Aurora. Here's a look at what you can expect. Person Profile Management. To have the ability to add a person profile through Active Directory and have the ability to manage their profile, we first need to ensure the person has been added as an object user. To add a user, go to your Start menu, select Administrative Tools, Active Directory Site and Services, and ensure we have a Keyscan Security Group in the Active Directory. Now we will go back to Aurora Client to show that James Duff, the person we will be adding, does not exist in the Keyscan database. Let's go back to Active Directory Sites and Services. Right click, select New, and select User. We will add person details, first name, last name, user logon, and password, and click Finish. Next, we will go into the user's properties and make them a member of Keyscan Security Group. Once this is complete, we return to the Aurora client, go to Application Settings, and select Application Utilities. Select Server Setting tab and click the Sync button on the Active Directory agent setup. You can see that we now have James Duff appear in the search screen. Double click on the person profile. Here you will see in James's profile he is an Active Directory linked user and in the pull down menu option it shows the Active Directory user he was linked with. We will now look at how we can deactivate a person profile using Active Directory. To do this, we will select the user and choose the Disable Account. The object user will be disabled. Click OK. Now when we return to the Aurora client and synchronize, you will see that James's profile is now inactive. To activate the person, we simply go back to the object user and select the Enable account. Click OK. Return to the Aurora client and sync. Again, you will see that James's profile is once again active. To delete, we go back to the object user and choose Delete. Confirm your selection, then return to the Aurora client, and we will once again sync. Now, James is no longer found in the database. Adding a credential. First, we will show Person Profile. Note we have James linked with Active Directory user, and there are no current credentials on his profile. Before we add a credential for James, we will make sure that Active Directory Agent is enabled in the Site Information Setup screen. If Active Directory Agent is not enabled, the credential will have no ability to be assigned to the group. To start, we will go back to Active Directory Agent Setup and ensure we have selected the credential type. In this case, a Keyscan 36-bit format credential will be used. The credential property here is also associated with an existing Active Directory target file that already exists, Pager. This could also be a custom field created by the administrator. When we return to the Active Directory and pull up James's user properties, you will see in the Telephone tab we have the Pager target field where we will input the credential information, which is batch and a credential number. To enter this information, we will type in a sample. 
0.300.12345. This is the numerical format required to enter a credential in Keyscan 36-bit or standard 26-bit format. We will make them a member of the Group Access Level General Employee Access in the Keyscan site. Note, this and other Group Access Levels have to be added with the same name in the Active Directory Security Groups. The same must exist in Security Groups as in Active Directory. All we need to do now is make James a part of this group. Managing optional fields. Go to Manage People. In this example, we will pull up James's profile. In the Person profile, we will navigate to the Optional Fields tab. Here, you will see all common optional fields. Note they are empty in this example. In Application Settings, we can go to Optional Field Management to add or edit common optional fields as required. Now we will navigate back to Active Directory and James's user properties. We will now enter an address. Once it's entered in Active Directory, we will return to the Aurora client and refresh the Active Directory sync. We'll now see that the information has been populated. Now we will add James's title using the Job Title Target field found under the Organization tab, and do the same for his department and company using those corresponding fields. When complete, sync the information in the Aurora client. In addition to this, we will add a company website. You may notice we did not have a postal zip code field created in common optional fields. We will now proceed to add this. This will now bring in the postal or zip code information when we next sync the Active Directory agent. Managing credentials. In this portion, we will look at editing capabilities for credentials through Active Directory from an existing person in the Keyscan Aurora database. We will begin by selecting a person profile. In this example, Stuart has reported his credential stolen and we will be providing him with a new replacement credential. Notice this person profile has not been selected as an Active Directory user. To make any changes using Active Directory, we will need to tie him to his Active Directory user. Once this is done, we can proceed to the Active Directory and select the object user for Stuart. First, we will add him as a member of the Keyscan Security Group. Now that he's part of the Keyscan Security Group, we will have the ability of adding his new credential. Again, notice he currently has four credentials. In the object user, we will once again use the pager target field found under the Telephones tab and populate his new credential number. The card will not be reflected there until information is synchronized, so we will go ahead and do that and refresh the person profile. In addition to adding the credential, we will also assign Stuart's new credential to an additional group access level in the Keyscan system. To achieve this, we will return to the object user and assign them to the 24-7 group access level by adding Stuart to the matching security group seen in the Member Of tab. Again, perform a sync and refresh.